Okay. Um, hello. Sorry, this camera is like really, really bad because I didn't use my phone, I used my laptop, but I guess it captures the essence of what I wanted. Kind of. Um, hello. So, um, this is your Spagusty again. It's been a very, very long time. And, um, college, life, depression, all the good stuff keeps me from doing things that, you know, I thought maybe I could try to do like this, like a YouTube little makeup tutorial, even though it really wasn't one all that much. Sucked, but here, here we are at this. It looks a lot better in person, like I'm looking at it in my mirror right there, but here I go to different light. Maybe that'll help. But yeah, so uh, my friends keep telling me, they're like, oh yeah, you should just do makeup tutorials, and I'm just like, oh, okay. So yeah. Oh, it's a lot better in this light. Thank you, bathroom. But yeah, so um, this is my finished look. This eye right here, the eyelashes are hella jank, and I haven't put on false eyelashes in a very long time, so hence why they look uh, like absolute shit. That one isn't as bad, but from far away they look nice. <laughs> um, I will put down all what I used in the description box. Um, and I'll probably do a little narration over all what how I did this full hot mess. But um, if you like it, thank you. If you didn't, I understand. I understand. Oh, hello! But um, yeah, so like, dislike, probably dislike, comment, subscribe. I'll probably do it more whenever I get better, <laughs> better quality of camera and camera and inspiration and motivation and yeah so thank you bye all right so let's get started and it's just me being weird yeah gross face I always start out with a nice primer I, I use a, a nice Rimmel stay matte prim primer they always say to like Probably put your fa uh, face primer on before you start, like a good minute before you start doing anything. Now this is my eyeshadow primer. It's Hard Candy brand. It's the name of the brand. You just kind of apply it to your eyes, and then you take a NYX white pencil as to make your uh, eyeshadow more pigmented, and you just kind of like pat it all over your lid. Next we're gonna do brows. Just gotta, I have really light eyebrows so I have to fill them in a little bit. I don't really shape them, I just kind of make sure they're darker. But um, I used Benefit, both were Gibby Brow Benefit um, products. I find that it worked. Uh, this is just a color palette that my friend got me from Walmart. And it's kind of like a really know like a berry color and I put that like kind of like all over my crease just kind of blended it out from there <laughs> aren't I cute yeah uh, the and then I took a black color and I kind of applied it to like just the corner my outer corner my outer V my definer. Just kind of make sure it all blends well together and it doesn't look, you know, stupid. My, um, and then I took the same white NYX pencil that I used earlier and kind of like made it another base on the center of my lid. Just kind of pat it out like that. Yep, yeah. And then I took a more NYX products. It's kind of like a body shimmery stuff, but I used it on my eyelids this time. 
it uh so you just kind of have to like roll a little bit on and just kind of pat it out to kind of blend it into the so it doesn't just look like you like hard lines pat 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 and then i took some maybelline precise liquid eyeliner this it actually took me a couple tries but i recently learned <laughs> Finally I learned the tape trick, so I'm going to be using tape to make my wings. Though I did mess up on one because they weren't even, so I decided to redo it. More tape. Doing wings is actually really hard. I mean, like, I'm being a non-patient person that I am, I kind of find it difficult, but... I don't know. I feel like I got the hang of it. So you just kind of like... And then I took a uh, L'Oreal gel liner and just kind of put it on my lower um, water line, but not all the way. As you can see, it's just kind of like a fourth of the way onto my lid. And I took that white pencil again and dotted my inner corners as a base again for more glitter because you can't ever have enough glitter. There's the NYX gl body glitter roll on that I used. Just kind of pat it in there. It worked well enough. And I had to get my beauty blender because we're about to do foundation. Remove BB cream. I don't really, I don't know. It's just to, uh, you know, hide the disgustingness that is the redness on my face. So what I do is just take it, just kind of dot it all over my face, and then just kind of blend it out. Soft, rapid pat motions, as you can see. You always want to make sure you cover, you blend out evenly and cover your neck as much as you can. Next is concealer, which is True Match by Rimmel. Yes, I love Rimmel because I'm probably an Anglophile. <laughs> Next is concealer, so you just don't use dots. Kind of spread it out in a triangle type shape and then just blend it in with your fingers, beauty blender, whatever you, you have on hand. Next is NYX. Um, contour. Kind of just do my cheekbones, my nose, my jawline, and on my forehead. As you can see. As you can see throughout this video, I kind of am mouthing words to songs because I was sitting there listening to a bunch of K pop as I was doing this because. What other kind of music do you do? Do you listen to whenever you do your makeup? K-pop is fun and bouncy. So now you just sit there and you just blend it out. Soft, rapid pats. Nothing. Don't really rub it. I, wee little Julie, whenever she was first learning, started to just rub things in, and then I'm like, why isn't it working? Well, it's because you're just rubbing it off. Then I that and I didn't wet my beauty blender. Next is the powder bronzer that you just kind of put over top of everything that you just did. At least that's what I do. There's no right way to do makeup, everyone. Do whatever, whatever you want. Yes, I almost swore. <laughs> um, I use a lot of that um, Eco Tool um, brushes just because I really like the look of them and they're soft and they or what I can afford. Next I took like a smaller brush just to kind of like go over the contour that I put on my nose. Yes, it's very softer. <laughs> Next I take Wet n Wild uh, Cushion Highlighter, which just kind of threw me off whenever I first used it, but it's a liquid to, liquid to powder type stuff. I just took the little thing that they provide for you and just kind of pat it on like that. Soft, soft rapid movements, <laughs> as, as always. My nose was a little bit more difficult though. 
My nose, I kind of had to use, bring my fingers into it. Which is never a bad thing. It's okay to use your fingers, as long as they're clean. Next is blush, which is tree match from L'Oreal. Just on the apples of your cheeks. I always took a blush brush. I always, you know, it's always good to smile whenever you're putting on blush. I don't know, that's just always what I do. Next is my lipstick, which is more Rimmel, you guessed it. It's, uh, the lipstick is 30 by, it's like the Kate Hudson or whatever brand line of lip, of Rimmel lipstick, but it comes with like the matching lip liner. What I do is just, I just line my lips first and cover it all so it has like a nice foundation. And then I apply the uh, actual lipstick to it. I do more whenever I like do lipstick like that, but I didn't feel like doing it this time. Next is the little highlight for the Cupid's bow of your lips. I don't use the uh, Wet n Wild one because I don't, I don't know, I just feel like it doesn't do what I want it to, so I usually just take the powder. I forgot to do my lashes half- like, I realized I forgot to do my lashes halfway through, so I did them at the end. Mascara is Rimmel Wonder Lash. I know you couldn't really see it, but yeah, I um, put a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes, lashes again, only like a fourth away in. I always put la uh, mascara on before I put on false lashes. I, you can really do it either way. There's no wrong way. Like I said, there's no wrong way of doing makeup. As long as it comes out however you wanted it to and you had fun. The lashes. Put glue on. Not too much. Hold out for 30 seconds at the minimum and then put them on if you can. They're a little, a little bit difficult, but... As I said in the beginning, it's been a while since I put on my lashes. Okie dokie. One last thing before I actually go. I know this resolution is actually a lot worse than it was earlier. That's because the sun went down and now I don't have all that natural light. But anyway, one last thing before I go. Um, if you would like to make a comment on colors color schemes, themes of makeup you want me to do, like, I'm pretty into anime, I'm not sure if you saw behind me all my pop figures, um, Yuri on Ice, I'm into Voltron, I kind of won't do a nice Keith makeup, so if you have any suggestions, um, just on what to do next, please just comment or something do whatever. I don't care. <laughs> just kidding. Um, yeah, so if you have any suggestions, just let me know. Because I just kind of wing it half the time. Be like, hey, those two things look like they would go together. So, anyway, uh, thanks for watching.